so sometimes helping a user of the phone is not possible over the chat uh, is impossible because whatever you are telling them they are either not seeing it or they're on a different screen or uh, if they're older user they have uh, blown the um, magnifier glass on so they simply cannot see and they tell you I cannot see it I don't uh, uh, understand and basically you want to see their screen what exactly uh, they are doing and the only way is uh, either you walk over there and yeah in the same office that may or may not be possible uh, in like a five a, it's a five-story building uh, will you be like walking all over the place and imagine that uh, for one ticket you took uh, 30 40 minutes because you the time had to walk over there and help them as, unless they're VVIP and they requesting you uh, in person over there but uh, most of the time or for example it's on another site all the, the big companies they have some help desk guys on site they can help you they can even walk to you but uh, just in case they uh, they don't want to walk to you to you or it's not uh, feasible uh, there's an easier method they can simply look at your screen uh, we use uh, go to assist it's like uh, it's a it's a neat software that uh, you run on your PC on your end and you have credentials to log into but the client they have to go and download a, a client on their computer you direct them to your website or wherever it is and then they download it and then you give them a code once they enter that code uh, you get to see their screen and you can tell them hey sir I'm gonna take the control and I'm gonna uh, uh, fix it for you so most of the time if it's a web browser it's like uh, the magnifying glass uh, mag sorry magnifying glass feature uh, I forgot what's the official name All right here zoom yeah they have blown the zoom out of proportion to like this I had uh, two calls where it was like this and that's why they were not seeing what I was seeing so all I had to do was make it 100 person and told them what to do <clears throat> so since I cannot go with the go to assist here uh, I explained the procedure but it's very easy and uh, normally uh, not there is somebody uh, like in the company they teach you all the tools and they give you a walkthrough regardless of have you done or not and in the interview when you tell them yeah I used it they might ask you a question but it's not like they are expecting you so once you're on the job they give you a walk uh, through of all the tools so I'm gonna give you an idea I'm gonna go with this free software that's uh, ultra VNC I don't want to use I want to use the edge the neat thing with edge is that you can run it from here rather than to download and store and all that so it's called ultra VNC if you search for it you go over here so it's a remote access tool so basically what you can do is uh, you can see the screen or or you can c take control of it and obviously uh, with more advanced users like an office environment you can use the remote help desk oh sorry remote uh, tool that is I made the video over there like um, installing software wire more desktop connection so basically this can also be used if they have a problem you initiate it uh, but the other user has to click on it you can watch this video uh, in for detail and they get logged out like they are kicked out you have the full control in a window in your 
computer and you can make all the changes or do whatever and then you can uh, tell them to log back in but normally it's on the phone like you contact them over the phone because they are logged out of the system they cannot check their email unless it's also pushed to their phones uh, but most of the time it's like uh, it's not in real time like go to assist where they can see what exactly what you are doing so let's put it here and this one <coughs> you have to download it and if you check the compatibility or ups, uh, the operating system supported it says that it's supporting up to 2012 I tried it on my server it worked um, so I, I will say uh, to th you know I have a 2019 server so go ahead try on it try it on and I tried it on my Windows 10 so it worked uh, it was a trial and error uh, but uh, I never made that video so let's call it still a trial and error because that was a week ago and I've already forgotten <laughs> uh, all the steps so for th for this one uh, we can go with the latest one 2019 and the, the date actually gave me the say okay let's go with the server as well I I'm gonna go with this one I did try the MSI it was not uh, this one it was not working the way I wanted it to be like it was uh, flunky so I'll go with this one x64 setup I think MSI will be more like for the uh, deployment over the uh, with PDQ deploy over the network so I'm gonna go with the regular files I can actually give it a try on my server download the MSI and try to deploy it can we the uh, ultra VNC right there so it's the installer it's not the MSI and there is this I can run it let's give it the password I also wanted to try if this uh, I have fixed my uh, this Imran account and yes it seems like you must lawyer as an administrator when installing this program so this computer is not recognizing this domain uh, this user as an admin so that's why it no, did not work uh, let's go and try admin account I want to fix it by giving it all the rights necessary but for some reason it's not taking so so now it will work accept the agreement next next so you want the server to control things like if you want to have the uh, remote control of like uh, in your window if you click on um, start button it populates it if you click double click on my computer you can see and you can go on to the on to all of those folders this viewer viewer is basically just give you uh, I'm gonna just go with the installation and explain viewer so viewer is when you okay before I go to where I'm gonna explain this this is that uh, system service so each time that computer boots uh, it will be loaded so it's not like that user have to double click on it uh, so in a domain you want this one to be on so uh, like I said go to assist the user has to go and download and then enter in a code from us this one is just there so why is there I'm gonna explain with the viewer part of it so once it's up and running and you are in a uh, you're in that domain uh, environment what happens is that uh, the admin can silently actually watch what's going on in your computer I know that's creepy and that's not how it's supposed to be but uh, for example in a classroom uh, 
when instructor is uh, teaching you something on the computer on the computer and uh, and you all have like uh, you have 10 20 students over there and he, he wants to make sure uh, that you're not playing on your phone you are actually working there's one way that he can walk over and sit behind and see but that's not uh, uh, like he <laughs> each time I, I know why when when he walks over it people will put their phone down and you know when he's not there so he can actually connect to uh, any machine silently watch it so even if he clicks this nothing will happen but the other one is view server or well, whatever he does gets replicated on the client machine so right now it's done uh, it should be right here so we click on this and we admin properties we don't know these passwords we gonna give it passwords so when this password is presented the uh, person will have access to it so let's give it uh, this one all right so I guess this was it more choices so you see a user cannot change any of these settings because when it pro gets prompted it will not be a admin account so the user has no way of uh, changing it and cannot mess it up for you so you have the full control now it's uh, done I have the given the password let's go to another machine like on my test machine and download it again and have the control of this test from windows so ultra vnc that open up automatically i don't remember opening it over here all right so let's go and run the x64 setup we know we're running x64 because we know that our computer is a 64-bit one you have to wait for this uh, countdown So I think I noticed that this user, or if you can see it's Obama, does not have, a, it's just an admin user. So it actually prompted me to give the full admin uh, credentials. But on this machine, on Windows 10, I made that user admin, but uh, apparently it does not have the full uh, rights. So you see over there it's a server I can do it viewer as well but I don't want this user whoever is logged in from this computer to view the other machine so I can uncheck it but let's go with this one that's only 2.5 megabits so they can connect to that machine and uh, look at it but they have to enter the password and only we have the password so let's go start next install So over there when it it did not uh, I have to fix what uh, I think it's detecting it's an admin but it does not have the full rights to be able to install the softwares and that I am not liking it so and you see on this machine it needs to be rebooted this one it never asks but if we go here oh where is it I don't see those you have to be logged in as an admin as well that's uh, let's fix it server what price do we need for no. like uh, number of add admin check names administrators domain what rights 
this one has member of member of domain admins enterprise group policy creator owner schema admins Well, that is for another day. Let's uh, sign out, let's log back in with the admin, and on test, let's see what's going on. Getting Windows ready, don't turn off your computer. Other sign into admin as trader. It's going to Imran slash. Let's see, we go back down here, and this test is taking forever. So I'm gonna pause the video here. I don't want to make this uh, like go on and on. All right, so my test machine has rebooted. It came back. Let's log into it and see if we are able to connect to it. Oh, it's again. Okay, so I'm gonna try to connect to it. I. I want to say it will fail because we did not configure the password uh, on the test machine so let's try it so we have to be SD right there and let's try with viewer like what I was doing so we it automatically took the name as well Wow connect let's give it the password uh, for we're I hope I remember the password correct okay so um, I never had to enter the password on the test machine so apparently uh, it's uh, the password is for only to work on this machine so if I can put this side by side you see my arrow over here has a square dot on it as well so when I click on double click on this or this let me so I double click here double clicking here double clicking nothing is happening I am right clicking nothing is happening but let's sample on test this is the user user is playing around he is opening a file it open so user is right clicking here you see there's a slight second delay on the left so remember I'm controlling I'm viewing viewing the test machine from my Windows 10 so the Windows 10 is that uh, I'll help this guy who's sitting over there and you so, or your instructor in class so I can actually see all that let's close it out so now I want to uh, actually I want, I, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on the phone and for example they have brand the Firefox here and they are on Wikipedia and they say I don't know what to do and all that and you're trying to sir can you see this or can you do that can you exit out of it um, do you see the cross over there do you see this uh, hamburger menu or do you see this uh, uh, this one like sometime we have a call that uh, we want them to connect to the Wi-Fi and they cannot see this like they I don't see it so for that uh, when you're on the phone basically you're just guiding them blindly and you don't know what they're doing so viewer is the one like you can actually I give you a creepy idea that somebody can silently watch you yes that is possible in an in a school or class where uh, your instructor can see I'm not saying that uh, it's okay to do it I'm just saying that it is possible so or I'm uh, I'm not saying that you should do it don't do it never do it always announce that uh, I'm I'm gonna be looking at your screen and uh, uh, always tell them when you're gonna disconnect the connection never ever do it silently that's uh, I think that's illegal uh, 
unless you have like agreement that uh, you are using the, this computer in our network and you're not supposed to do the, this 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 and our admins can actually monitor you and then whatever they if they are doing it so okay but i'm saying that uh, with the, you don't do it uh, as a professional it guy all right so let's go and ultra vnc so basically what we do uh, of course with go to assist we actually tell them hey this is going to happen you can download the client and then you're going to add the code and then we'll be able to see your screen and all that but if it's like a, a domain environment when uh you're on the same network and you can actually uh gonna do this then you announce them hey sir i'm gonna uh, run a, a program and i'm gonna have control of your computer while well, you'll be able to see what i'm doing and just uh, don't uh, uh, like you don't uh, touch the keyboard or mouse on your end uh, let me handle it for you for that uh, it's this one the server okay okay where is it I think I clicked it too many times VNC so we're gonna click on server another server NC is already running oh, okay maybe it's this one force close VNC connection let's try this now VNC server to repeater server server settings viewer hi I'm gonna pause this video and see what's going on so it was a quick minute I found what I was uh, doing wrong maybe I was doing wrong or I don't I forgotten uh, the step so basically it's the password the password gives you the ability um, to remotely control it or just view it so when you try it, you see I'm still connecting with the viewer and if I give it the password for viewing only it will only, it will only view it but if I give you the if it I put the other password and click OK I get the screen but the, look what happened this time this time I want the uh, I'm tell I've told him sir please don't uh, touch anything and anything if I you see open menu I can control from my end now and it gets replicated on the client side now so actually I've told him sir I'm gonna fix it for you oh you were not seeing this red arrow maybe he was not he was clicking it and nothing was happening it was uh, the windows were hung so I can say oh, okay sir uh, I'm sorry you were doing right and all that or maybe it was like this uh, uh, VNC uh, I can shut it down like uh, so oh the more details and go to performance I'm oh, sorry processes and go to Firefox is it's given me the, my local machine probably yeah apparently that's what happened oh okay so I have to go here in in his machine and click here then I get his test uh, see now I can in the Firefox and you see over there it's not showing VNC so and for example if I was telling him sir do you see the hamburger menu and he's saying no I don't then all I have to do is just go here up and oh sorry it's right there or if he was not seeing the Wikipedia if he was seeing the Wikipedia in another language and he's saying I don't see it in English I don't understand this language so I can actually go down and there's a right there like simple English so we can click on and now it's in alright so you tell them sir it's good you are able to see it in English uh, is there anything else I can do and all that and then you can close out the ticket so this is how that uh, you can actually take control of a person's computer remotely and 
get to do um, get to help them and oh where is it so the session is inside this you see the is everything is inside this window the test window so oh sorry uh, the VNC window so if I click it here I told him sir I have lost the connection and now you're good to go you can try it and all that and close the ticket now he can go and on his computer he can go up and down read them read the thing and whatever he wants to read and you see the next page is in English as well so we're good all right so I hope this video helped you uh, if it has please uh, rate comment share subscribe and you have a good night